Oh my God, not Resident Evil, guys. Come on. Not Resident Evil. You, come on, Hollywood. Hollywood, why? Why? Why Resident Evil? Why'd you have to do this? Why am I mad today, guys? Well, let's see. So, the reveal uh, pictures for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City have dropped. And, oh my god. Oh boy, this looked like great value, boy. This, this is ugly. Oh my goodness. This is a uh, welcome to Token City right here. Not only is it look like terrible baby's first cosplay, but oh my god. We got two tokens for the price of one. First, we have First, we have Hannah John Kamen. Y'all might remember her as Ghost from Ant-Man playing <laughs> playing Jill Valentine. Um, no, just just no. Stop the stop it. Stop it. Jill is not black. Cut it out. Oh god, the tokenization is real. And there are black what's killing me is that there are black characters in Resident Evil. This was completely and wholly unnecessary. Oh my goodness. So she couldn't be Sheva. No, couldn't be Sheva Alomar. No, she had to be Jill Valentine. Just reasons. Um, then we have Avon uh, Jogia from Victorious, uh, who is clearly of Indian descent, somehow playing Leon. Again, we, we have characters of color in this in this series i don't understand what the tokenization is for why for what was he was he just that cheap like i don't understand not to mention the costume design is fugly i mean oh my god fugly um the other the rest of the cast is rounded out by uh robbie amell um you know steve amell little brother He's playing uh, Chris Redfield. Not terrible, but, you know, whatever. And then Tom Hooper, who played Luther in uh, Umbrella Academy. Uh, he doesn't look terrible as Wesker either, especially because of what I'm about to show you. So if this didn't piss you off that this Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City looks like great value Aldi brand, yeah, <laughs> Resident Evil with the cheapest, worst costumes we've ever seen, especially coming off of the Mila Jovovich movies, which are not good movies, but at least they look good. Jesus. This seems like they spent, Sony spent all their money on uh, No Way Home, and there's no way home for this ugly monstrosity that they're calling Resident Evil. But look, if if you thought this was bad, Netflix said, again, because Netflix is the, the king, said, hold my beer. Why is Lance Redding playing Albert Wesker? Why? Why is this a thing? Albert Wesker is white man. A blonde-haired white man. Lance Redding is a no-haired black man. I don't understand how this happened or why this is going on. But apparently, the universe hates me and every fan of Resident Evil because this ain't it, Chief. It just, it, it definitely ain't it. Oh my God, Netflix. This is, whew, this is bad. I don't, I don't even know why. Why Why? Why not just call it something else? Why not call it Random Zombie Series? Why, why call it Resident Evil? Because this ain't it, Chief. Who, who is this for? It, who? Who is it for? Apparently, it's for me to make fun of. Because this is ugly. So, we got two giant turds full of tokenization and cheapness coming from two different places from the same property of Resident Evil, and I just don't understand why. I don't understand why this needs to keep occurring. You would think that after COVID, everybody would say, hey, let's make something a little bit better to bring the fans back into the movie theater. Nope, no, that's that's not what they did. They, they just said, screw it. We just gonna put stuff out. Oh my God. And this, and, and to be clear, this Welcome to Raccoon City nonsense is supposed to be a feature film that goes into the movie theater. Bro, this looked like Crackle. This looked like that left, I uh, wasn't, it wasn't Left 4 Dead, it was, uh, oh, what's that other game? I can't think of it right now, but it's usually on Xbox. Um, they made a Crackle version of that, and that looks better than this. 
Resident Evil uh, monstrosity that I'm looking at right now. I, I honestly can tell you who this is for, why this exists. The casting director needs to be fired. Whoever greenlit this needs to be fired. Why? You're taking literally a billion dollar franchise and just flushing it down the toilet and the money that you uh, used in order to make whatever this is. Oh my God, this is ugly. But maybe I'm overreacting. Let me know, guys, in the comments. Um, you know, remember to like, comment. Uh, if you like the content, subscribe. Help us grow. We appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.